This is the iPhone SE, and Apple had only one goal when they made this phone, and that is to release an iPhone for less money than ever. For $399, this is a great option to consider if you want an iPhone but you don't want to spend a lot of money on it. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Phil and welcome back to another video. And today I want to talk to you about the second generation of the iPhone SE and why it is a very interesting option to consider for those looking for a new iPhone. This is a smartphone that delivers all the tech that a regular person needs without spending a lot of money. The iPhone SE does everything that an iPhone does and it does it well enough. But the question is, how much are you really giving up with the iPhone SE if anything. If you ever held an iPhone 8 or 7 or 6S or an iPhone 6, then you are quite familiar with the design of the iPhone SE because it is the exact same design as the iPhone 8 from 2017. Using this form factor allowed Apple to keep the cost of the device as low as it is because they didn't need to invest in a whole new design process. It has a 4.7 inch screen with huge bezels above and below. They also brought back the iconic home button with Touch ID included. On the back we have a slightly updated design. We have the camera module and the Apple logo right at the center of the device. The back has a glass panel which enables wireless charging which is a nice feature to have. The iPhone SE like any other iPhone does not come with a headphone jack, something that we have seen on this design before. If I'm completely honest and this is just my personal opinion of course, in 2021 this design looks so outdated and boring. Of course I'm just talking about the design here, but yeah, I mean this design was first introduced on the iPhone 6 way back in 2014, so the bezels are not good looking at all, but the build quality is just great. Apple's long history with this phone design means that it's very well built and they really know what they're doing. The 4.7 inch LCD display is as good as ever with true tone to help color match your surroundings and by today's standards, the iPhone SE is compact and lightweight. The iPhone SE design might be a bit outdated, but on the inside, everything changes. The iPhone SE is a beast. It has the A13 Bionic chipset, which is super impressive because it's the same processor as the iPhone 11 Pro. So yeah, the iPhone SE is super fast, but that's not the only reason why this processor matters. The A13 Bionic chip ensures that the iPhone SE will get iOS updates for many years to come, so that is great. No other phone at this price range will last as long as the iPhone SE will in terms of software support. So with this incredible performance, the iPhone SE will be great for many years to come. Which is an incredible thing to say about a $400 phone. To keep the costs low, the iPhone SE features a 12 megapixel single lens camera, but it does adopt some technology from the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro, which means that it has quite a decent camera. And when you think about it, for a $400 phone, the camera is great. In optimal lighting conditions, the iPhone SE takes incredible pictures and it's hard to tell the difference from the SE to the 11 Pro or even the 12. It captures sharp images with natural looking colors and great dynamic range in well lit environments. But in low lighting conditions, you can really see the shortcomings. The low lighting pictures are quite noisy and the iPhone SE does not come with night mode. Apple also managed to feature portrait mode on the iPhone SE and you can get some very decent shots. But just as the iPhone XR, you're stuck taking portrait pictures of people only. So taking portrait shots of your cat with a funny hand is just out of the picture. When it comes to video, the iPhone SE kills everything on this price range. Everything. Even much more expensive phones. With 4K stabilized both optically and with software, extended dynamic range and the options go as high as 4K at 60 frames per second. This is very expensive camera performance from a $400 iPhone. I love the video capabilities of the iPhone and this one is no exception. It can produce some very impressive material. So if you're coming from an iPhone that is older than the iPhone XR, you will absolutely see some improvements on the camera. But if you're coming from the original SE or the iPhone 6 or the 6S, the improvements will be massive. 
The battery life on the iPhone SE is decent and you can get the full day. I've been getting close to five hours screen on time, but every day by the end of the day, I found myself reaching for the charger. I honestly thought that the battery life would be better because of how well optimized the A13 Bionic chip is. But this was not the case. When this phone was introduced, Apple said that the battery would be very similar to the iPhone 8 and it is. It's weird because I'm so used to the freedom that the incredible battery life on the iPhone XR or the 11 give you. So it feels strange having to go back to at least knowing where my charger is by the end of the day. So the battery life is not bad. It's not the best, but still somehow decent. The iPhone SE is a great option and a great deal because the lack of compromises is what makes it remarkable. Apple took all the best parts from its expensive iPhones, including the incredibly fast A13 Bionic chipset, and squeezed them into an older iPhone with the home button. So if you're considering getting an iPhone SE, I can only say that it is a full iPhone experience. Of course, there are far better options out there, but in my personal opinion, the iPhone SE is the one that provides the most value for the money of all iPhones. Because with this device, you will be getting a very reliable, powerful, and overall great phone for a fraction of the price. So if you're looking for a sign to go buy an iPhone SE, this is it, go, get it. The iPhone SE is a great smartphone, not just a great deal, a great smartphone. And on that note, it's time for me to go. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, hit the like button and if you subscribe, that would be very, very much appreciated. Anyways, I hope you guys are all doing great and I'll see you on the next one.